multiple vehicles, one vehicle on top of another one. Unknown if anybody's trapped. Yeah, this could be good. Okay, guys. Be careful on the freeway. Uh, that There's a lot of damage up there. Jake, you want to check these first couple? Yeah. I'll go check the far one. She's still in there? Engine 207 to 11. Upgrade this to a major man and give us a tactical channel. C-Deck 2. Copy C-Deck 2. Sir, were you in this vehicle? Was it just you? Are you injured at all? Yes, sir. No. OK. Uh, they're not injured. Hello, ma'am. Were you the only one in this vehicle? Are you injured? Neck hurts? OK. Try to hold your neck as still as you can. We'll be right with you, OK? I'm going to cut this airbag out of the way, buddy, so I can talk to you, OK? We're going to do that. What we're going to do, so you know, we're going to use some tools, and we're going to cut that side of the car, and we're going to move you out on a board, all right? Where are you hurting? Just my uh, lower back. OK. Did you lose any consciousness? I don't know. OK. All right. All right. OK. Hey, what are we doing, boys? What do we need cut? I'm going to cut that hinge right there. Now, are you wanting to take him? Are you thinking backboard or are you just? Yeah, let's take. Let's do it backboard. So we, we'll just slide it over here, and when you're ready. We got one. All right. Yep. Somebody take C-spine. Slide back. All right. There you go. Just lay back. Let us lay do back. it. Lay back. Hands across the chest. Back. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Got the yeah. All right, buddy. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah, overall, driver of the red vehicle is pretty lucky. Another foot of impingement from that rear vehicle, and it would have been uh, much more sustained extrication. Uh, a lot of the injuries probably would have been much more severe. Probably wouldn't have been talking to us when we cut him out. I saw brake lights here, so I swerved over, and uh, I went into the other lane, hit my brakes a little. I didn't have time. I wasn't paying attention enough. I didn't have time to freaking to stop. So we need another backboard over here? We can readjust. <laughs> you got legs. Right here? Coming down. We got the the patient extricated, ladder 201 extricated him out of the this vehicle here that had the pickup on top of it. The young lady here in front was complaining of uh, lower back pain. Both are going to go to a local trauma center, be there in just a couple minutes. Um, but both were conscious, alert, um, moving all extremities. So 10, 15 years ago, this probably would have been a fatality. Uh, but with all the safety uh, devices that they're coming out with vehicles now, with airbags, side airbags, curtain airbags, uh, even just the way the cars are built, they were very fortunate they weren't hurt worse, but a lot of it had to do with the construction of the new vehicles. Well, we responded on a call for a motor vehicle accident with reported persons trapped. No number of uh, vehicles were given at this time, but we can see the scene coming up. Looks like we may have one vehicle into um, an overhead crane here, so. On the scene. One is trapped. One's trapped in a car. OK. He's got a pat front passenger seat. OK. What do you want? Let me. Let's see, because we can't, we're not going to be able to remove him. Let me get some light in here. OK, what's going on, man? You can't move that leg? Yeah, I can move my leg. My heart hurts. Uh, later for that. Can you get that leg out? Can you get that leg out of there? If not, I got to cut you out. 
You can't? Okay. Gotcha. All crews, we may have firearms on the scene. Get a collar and let's get the spreaders out here. One person trapped, beginning extrication at this time. It was two individuals. One individual was already out of the vehicle in the hands of uh, police. There's possibly uh, firearms inside the car, so it's a big concern. Yeah, right. Hey, guys, hey, hey, slow down. Wait no. We may have we may have something uh, items in the car, so be careful, okay? All right. Okay, man. Look this way. All right. Okay. Cool. Hey, if I can get a can I get a sheet? Can I get a sheet off that medic unit? Hey, Wayno, can you guys support that leg over there if we get a backboard under him this way? Yeah, I get it. Okay. Now listen, bro. It ain't gonna be comfortable, okay? All right. So we're gonna put this way. I want you to lay back on this backboard, okay? Now, while we pulling you out of here, I want you to keep your hands right here, okay? On your chest, all right? Put that other hand on that chest. Keep them right there. We coming this way. Ah! It's gonna hurt. One, two, three. No, you leave your neck down. You start moving. OK? OK, we got you. One, two, three. Yeah, don't raise your, don't raise Keep your hands right there. All right, Hold on, is he ready? All right, legs free. Hey, watch this pull on that wheel. Yeah, we got him. You ready, Clint? Yeah, go. On your word. That's the only one. That's it. Hey, let PD, let PD go through him, because we may have things on the scene. The vehicle struck a bucket crane, uh, which didn't sustain any um, damage to the crane itself. One individual was trapped in the passenger side seat with uh, the passenger side door impending on his legs. It's pretty uncomfortable for the patient. He's in pretty extreme pain, uh, leg injury, neck injury, and he was complaining of back injury. So he's being transported to the hospital at this time. We'll probably be wrapping up this scene pretty soon here. So what we're headed to right now, guys, is a two-vehicle TC, a white van and a white pickup truck down here off 5th Street. Let's get a look over there, Fabio. We might have a critical in that van. Get a patient count, and then we need extra. Hey, Fabio, what's up? It's easy. He's trapped in there pretty good. Okay, we're going to have to do it. So everything we do, we're going to have to do it inside the vehicle. Yeah. We'll go on the side over here, okay? Mama. Still have a seat right here. All right, where are we, uh, where are we pinned? Can we want you to the seatbelt? Hold on, give me one sec. How are his legs looking down there? I can't see this. Just give me one sec. I'm going to start working on the windshield. We're going to need to do a dash roll, and then, uh... So his legs are, his legs are pinned, but whatever you need to do to manage that airway for right now. His airway is good right now, dude. He's still moving good air. He can still, he still has his mouth open and everything. I don't see anything like any blood okay. checking him out. How you doing in there, bud? All uh, right, we're going to Arrowhead, guys. Okay, yeah, no, thank you. This was a pretty extensive education. It wasn't just a simple door pop. We had to pull the steering wheel off the patient and extend the door frame because everything was crumpled and caved in on the patient. It did pin his legs. In fact, the brake pedal and the gas pedal ended up near his chest. So there was a lot of impact, a lot of force. Fortunately, we had our truck and engine on scene. They both had extrication equipment. Many hands make light work. 
So we're able to do it faster with more manpower. So he'll be receiving the best care possible. Is he covered? Yeah, yeah cover him up and we'll start breaking glass. We're gonna flop the roof. You got a bearing strap? I get one. Yeah. Don't strap it down. Just marry the suspension to the tree. That way it won't flip. We got uh, one person uh, trapped inside at this time. He's about 60 year old male and he is uh, he's conscious talking to rescue at this time. We're going to um, secure the vehicle, flip down the, the roof, and then get them out. We have a separate rescue coming for transport at this time. For what? Yeah, we're going to Cut the post. You might not go deep enough with that. Bust the glass up here. Okay. Cut through that. Cut through hey, that and then cut up, through that. His head is right here back, so you might want to go from like here over. For what? Where his head is up against the side of this of the hood. Yeah, yeah. Somebody jump in there, grab his head. Here, get this out of your way. Right now we have back pain and right leg pain, okay? And we got a collar? Yeah, we got a collar right here. Okay, so it looks like there's nothing in the tent. Put a collar on it. Hey, boys, we got a collar right here. Watch the hoses, watch the hoses, don't trip. So what happened? So we have um, patients been extricated. Uh, I believe neck, back, leg pain. He's going to be taken up to North Broward, uh, trauma facility. Um, level one trauma alert just to be safe. Uh, I believe I heard them say that he was unsure how this happened, the driver. So, but he seemed stable when they brought him out. Hey guys, I'm Matt Eisman from Live Rescue. Subscribe to A&E for more videos and catch full episodes on AETV.com.